to Simrai Fashion Academy YouTube channel for another interesting tutorial. So in, on this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to make the down part of this um, beautiful lace gown. So this uh, down part of this uh, lace gown uh, has uh, an extension. So it has um, a four. So that extension is what I'm showing you today on this channel. So I'm making the uh, borderline for my waist. Uh, for my skirt waist drafting so from the tip of my pepper I'm going to come in by 10 inches okay so then that is where I'm going to have the side of my skirt that is the skirt side so the side of the skirt will be drafted together with the four and of course you are going to see how this is going to be made so I'm going to measure from this point my hip okay first of all i will take my vertical measurements so i'm i'm pretending having uh, my vertical measurements for the hip so what i'm making here is just a half scale drafting so of course you know how to go about this so the lines i just made now this is my uh, lower hip and this is my upper okay so and this is the waistline and this is the floor level okay that is the floor length of this skirt so i'm measuring this is the side so from the side to the center front that is where i'm taking my measurement so from side to center front i'll just make take my hip divide by four so like i said this is a half scale um a small scale body drafting so right here, I'm going to take what I have on the hip to the uh, floor level. So here is my center front and my center back. I'm using this same one pattern to make both front and back. So when I, I'm cutting my center front, it's going to be on fold, okay? But after cutting the center front on fold, when I'm cutting my center back, I'm going to split them so I will have my zipper allowance. Of I believe you understand this. So here, since it's my center front, I'm going to go all the way this way, as you can see. So now, I'm going to make this skirt together with my... Uh, the uh, waist measurement so i'm going to take my waist measurement right now so if this is where my waist measurement is from the center front i'll just quickly connect it to the hip line so from this hip line that is where i'm going to take my extension so i'm working with an extension of 10 inches from this hip line this is my mark of 10 inches and i'll just Go ahead and curve this skirt. I'm curving it, just making a curve, directing it back to this line. Okay, so I'll just make a curve back to this line. So let us take it this way. Okay. All right. So next I'm going to do now is to cut out what I have on the center front Alright, so this is how the skirt is going to look like. But then, if you look at that skirt, you notice that it has a little flay effect. So that flay effect is what I'm going to create right now. So I'll just go in from the tip of my pepper and I'll just make this line, okay? So I'm going to slash three lines to, play, uh, to create that flay effect. So I'll just go ahead and cut to the waist I'll go ahead and cut ok 
okay so the rest of this now will keep it this way so i just come in with my piece of fabric for my slash and spread so for my slash and spread i always like to have this border line so i'll be able to keep my slash lines effectively so i'll just come in the center front and center back is going to be on it's going to stay uh, this way okay so i'll just go ahead and apply my adhesive as usual okay so we are trying to create the flay just little flay effect so this is the center front and i'm going to extend or create the flay this way so i'm just creating it this way okay so here i'll cut from here so if you want it to flay more you can go ahead and make four inches four inches that if you really want it the more you want the more you expand your your flay okay and this is the center center front and center back all right lovely people so when i'm cutting now i'll place my pattern of fold for the center back okay and i'll have my flay by the time i i sew this so this part is going to be sewn um, this is the waistline which i'm going to attach so the way i'm going to sew this i'm going to have um all right lovely people so right now you can see how uh, everything turned out to be so the upper bodies will be sewn up to this point okay so we are going to either hem or face this other part you can also create a whole full lining for it and turn it aside and sew back into the dress okay so this is how to go about this and i believe you learned a lot so i will use this pattern to cut the front when i'm cutting the center front i place it on food when i'm cutting the back it's going to have a zipper okay so you have both front and you have both back you can also decide to sew uh, the stitch the back of this part because this part is going to lay as you are seeing right there on the thumbnail after attaching this to the skirt here is going to, going to definitely fall so you can put the back and front together stitch them and turn okay once you stitch them and turn you pick them up and sew to the front and the back bodies then you can also run a stretched uh, stitch to hold the side just like you we have in butterfly okay so thank you very much for coming to this tutorial and I believe you understood the explanations to this class. So if you are new to this channel, please kindly subscribe, turn on your notification bell to receive videos like this every day. Like this video, share to family and friends. Drop your comment on the comment section and your suggestions as well. Thank you for coming and see you in the next class. Bye.